It's also called ATP synthase. You might know that. Okay? Because what it does is it makes ATP. If we orient ourselves here, okay, what we see is down here is the outer part of the mitochondrial, of the mitochondrion. Inside is up here. So out to in. Where is the greatest concentration of protons as a result of electron transport? It's right down here. Okay? What this guy does is it has a little chamber that will allow protons to enter it. A little chamber that will allow protons to enter it. And as it enters it, what we will discover is that this little portion down here rotates. This part rotates, just like a turbine that's at the bottom of a water dam. And a turbine, what does it do? It turns and it generates electricity. This turbine turns and it makes ATP. You want to talk about something at the nanoscopic level that's pretty phenomenal. This is one of the most phenomenal things. The ATP synthase is a little molecular motor. Your body is loaded with them. You didn't even know it was there. Now you know why you're dizzy every now and then. It's all those turbines spinning, right? Okay. This turbine spins, and I'm going to show you another view of this in just a second. In fact, I've got some videos I'm probably not going to have time to show you today. I may show them at the beginning of class next time. But they're linked on the schedule page. Look at them. They're phenomenal. Okay. This guy turns, and what it causes is this little stalk right here to, to spin inside of these, these six big subunits up here. The spinning of this little stalk in the middle is part of the process of making the ATP. So let's review before I show you that. The review is that electron transport charged the battery. The battery was charged by having a high concentration of protons out here, a low concentration of protons in here. Those protons went back in, and this guy says, OK, you can come in, but there's a price. And the price is, we're going to use your energy to make ATP. All right? Now, let's look at this uh, right here. Actually, that's not what I want. Sorry. Sorry. It's right here. OK. Now, this is a little confusing. We're looking at that mushroom from the top down. So I said we had those six subunits, and in the middle we had this little thing that was spinning around. You can't see the little thing spinning around there, but in the middle of these subunits, you can see, all right, you can see the um, uh, top of the mushroom looking here. The top of the mushroom has, there are actually six subunits, they're in pairs, and that, that's not really important for our purposes. But what's important for our purposes is they arrange themselves in a very interesting fashion. They're almost identical to each other. The only difference is which direction that little center portion is pointing to. Okay? So it's going to rotate around. And when it rotates around, it's going to change the configuration of the subunits. The subunits have three possible configurations. They're called L, T, and O. At any given time, the mushroom is arranged so one of the subunits is in L, one of the subunits is in T, and one of the subunits is in O. You want to know what those stand for? O stands for open, L stands for loose, and T stands for tight. O, L, T, open, loose, tight. Let's now look and see how ATP is synthesized by this mushroom. We've got this little thing that's spinning on the inside. If it points one direction, it causes a unit to, to, to be in the L configuration. Okay? So we can imagine we've got two prongs, we've got, we've got two prongs in this inner portion. One's pointing to L, one's pointing to T, and if nothing is pointing at it, we get an O. Everybody with me? L stands, oh, let's, let's start with O. O stands for open. O is used to release the ATP that's just been made. L 
is the state at which the cell binds ADP plus phosphate. That's the loose state. T is a state where everything scrunches together. That's why it's called tight. And the phosphate is linked to the ADP. So to get it from here down to here, this guy has got a scrunch, and it's going to squeeze together the ADP and the phosphate. The T is the place at which that happens. Now, here's L. L binds ADP plus phosphate. The thing rotates, and it becomes the T. The T, these guys get squeezed together, and look, we've got an ATP. What do you suppose is going to happen to this subunit next? It's going to become O. So when it spins again, this guy becomes O, and that ATP is released. Okay. So if we follow one subunit, it's going to go L to T, and then finally down to O. Here's this guy in T. What's it going to be next? It's going to be O. Okay. Here's this guy O. What's it going to be next? It's going to be L. So any subunit is going to go through OLT, OLT, OLT. The spinning of the thing on the inside is causing that flipping from configuration to occur. I'm almost out of time. I'll say one more thing, and then I'll shut up. This is something to think about for next time, because it's going to be this, this, where we're going to start. This process stops if the cell runs out of ADP. When does the cell run out of ADP? When you stop exercising. Sitting around watching the tube, drinking beer, watching football. Your ATP levels are high because you're not burning it up. When that happens, this process stops. We'll see the implications of that next time. OK. Protons make it through the membrane by going through this complex. So that the proton comes the electron transport chain pump out both those protons and the ones that they take off of the ADH and the Correct. That's correct. Yep. You got it, sir. Cool process, huh? Hey, you. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Um, so my second exam, because it was mixed in with extra credit. Oh, I haven't done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is I'll, totally fine. I'll, I'll, I apologize. I, 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 I will get to that to probably sure. tomorrow. It, it won't go away. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, uh, re but do remind me. Okay. Um, I haven't recorded those yet in my grade book. I've been focusing on this exam. I'll try to do that tomorrow. So come by and I'll, and I'll take care of it. Okay. Okay. Um, and as far as the final, what's, what's been your like average on it? You don't have it varies. One. It yeah. varies so much. I mean, you've seen in, in this in this class we've gone from 63 to 74, which is a, you know I would say somewhere in there normally, but it really varies. Okay. You know what, what happens with final exams? Everybody's got final exams at once, so totally. you know. And this is so. There's variable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank Hang you. in there. Yep. Take care. Bye.